All right. So, how long has it been since we did GM mode? Like a month? Hey, bright side. At least it's not like three months ago. Like uh, episode, the difference between episode three and four was. Well, there. This right here is Super Smackdown. Now I know I, last episode I most likely said we we're gonna do this whole show. It doesn't make sense to really do a whole show. More of a case, it makes sense to really just do, you know, a whole show bits of pay-per-view. So, this week, Raw has Backlash. Well, they just had Backlash, if anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's... That's how they did. I was expecting better. This is what we're up to here. This is gonna be a Super Smackdown episode. Which, of course, will be our mini pay-per-view of sorts. And just in hopes of trying to gain back some more fans. Because Raw took a good amount of way. So those here's the last two weeks of Smackdown that I had to look back to see, to remember what I was doing. Uh, so obviously Tajiri's number one contender for a Cruiserweight title. Along with that, uh, Sean and Kurt will have a rematch for a U.S. title because Sean had ruined my plans to beat Kurt for a title. And uh, there's a little Jericho Booker T rivalry for the World Heritage title that Chris Benoit will also be involved in in the near future. Because on Judgment Day, the plan here is basically Benoit versus Booker and Jericho in a triple threat. No matter what happens between Booker and Jericho, there will still be a rematch between either two men for a world title. And then we'll just throw Benoit in there, make a true threat, that will be your main event of Judgment Day. I'm also using the controller now, so I had to do a little test out. And, uh, yeah, it worked out it worked out pretty alright, to be fair. So, if anything, uh, yeah, let's get this party started. We'll probably just showcase the main event instead of the full show. We'll showcase the full show for Judgment Day, however. But, yeah, alright, let's get this party started. Alright, that took us like, uh, I won't, I won't say two, three minutes, so it's perhaps the quickest it's taken us to make a whole match card so far. Uh, but yeah, so this right here is Super Smackdown. This right here is the episode that hopefully could combat the viewers that we lost from Raw's Backlash. So, six man tag to match up to open up tonight. Now, these are just the people we couldn't book after. Making the last four matches. So, there's just people that are currently doing nothing. Well, so it's the second match, really. But you get the idea. So, the face side. Paul London, Eddie, and William Regal. They'll take on Chavo, Spike, and Christian. So, it's definitely interesting. I feel like it'll definitely do better than the Cruiserweight Top matchup. But we're still putting the Cruiserweight Top matchup higher up. Because of the stipulation you'll see in a minute. Now, if anything, the Big Show takes on Sean Benjamin with Charlie Haas in his corner. My original plan was a handicap matchup. But... We have the world's greatest tag team as faces. Uh, to be fair, I'm pretty sure it doesn't show where your face or heel here for GM mode. At least not here. 07 and 08 it shows it, but 06 was like more of a test out. So like, you know, it's not as fleshed out as 07 and 08's GM mode. But whatever. All three men are faces, so we're not doing handicap matchup. Instead, we're doing Sheldon and Charlie. Or Sheldon with Charlie in his corner. Takes on the big show. And so advertising promo. That's pretty much it. Chris Otel is online. TLC matchup. To Jerry, we'll challenge Scotty to Hotty. Scotty to Hottie still, if anything, pinned uh, Chris Jericho. Like, I think episode 2 when we simulated it. So, yeah, Sky to Hottie technically has pinned the World Heavyweight Champion. So, it's only fair if we give Sky to Hottie a World Heavyweight title shot. Whether if he wins or loses this matchup. So, maybe, just maybe, he could also ruin my plans for Chris Benoit, Booker, and Jericho in the Triple Threat at Judgment Day. Maybe it'll be a fatal four-way uh, if we are give Sky to Hottie the title shot. Because technically he does deserve it. He won the non-title contest. Uh, but yeah. Fourth match of the night. Tad Tiles online. Ray and RVD. They take on Masters and Carlito. So uh, Ray and RVD. They beat the world's greatest tag team last episode. I believe I had that as number one contenders matchup. Um, and if I didn't. Well then whatever. They get the shot. Now I have promo. And now here we go. The man that wasn't supposed to lose the belt. In the first place. Kurt Angle. Takes on good old HBK. It's a ladder match. Now, originally, my plan was to make the Cruiserweight title matchup a ladder match, and then make this one a TLC matchup. But I was like, Kurt and Sean, you know, they'll make a good matchup in general. Sky to Tajiri, they need the greater stipulation in this situation just because how low their popularity is, respectively. So that's why we decide on just a ladder match here for Sean and Kurt Angle. And then the main event, special guest referee, last minute stand match of Chris Benoit is the special guest referee. Now, originally, I had no plans to use him this episode. But, you know, I was like, we need to use him. I don't want to just put him away in a regular throwaway matchup like these two are throwaway matches. So I just decide, I'd right, fine. Benoit, you'll be the ref in Booker and Jericho. It'll also help plant the seeds a little bit more for when Benoit faces off against Booker and Jericho in the triple threat at Judgment Day. So, 
that one should be good. Now, I'm not fully sure if I want to be a special guest referee as Benoit, because I'm not going to really try and screw anyone over, whether it be Jericho or Booker. I'm not going to screw anyone of them over. Even though my original plan, to be fair, my original plan while I was setting this up was like, if I do play as Benoit, I'll screw over Booker T. So then we'll just turn Benoit heel. I think I've already decided on Jericho being a heel here. He was probably a heel at this time as well. Because I keep struggling to think if this was after... If this was around the timestamp Jericho's facing off against Cena and stuff like that. Because Christian is on SmackDown here in, this, in the roster. So that means this would be after the Jericho-Cena stuff as well. Because Christian gets drafted as SmackDown after the Jericho and Cena stuff is over. And it transitions to Kurt and Cena. So... There's some little Tales and Five trivia that's useless. But, uh, yeah, they're fine. Jerry goes a heel. And, uh, Benoit could turn heel here. That was the plan, but let's just say he's a heel either way. I don't want to really play as Benoit here. Uh, let's try to win it with either Booker or Jericho. It don't matter because a rematch is going to happen either way at Judgment Day. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that right there is the card for Super SmackDown. Hopefully, it can't come back, um, uh, backlash. So there, let's do this here. So we shall simulate this one. Faces, heels in the six-man tag team matchup. Paul London gets the win right there. Of course, uh, Chavo and Spike, they've had issues with Paul London last couple of episodes. Uh, so that right there is pretty good. Big Show takes on Shawn Mendes Charlie Haas, Ken World's Grace. Tag team overcome the Giants. And no, they won't. Show with the victory. The Jerry Sky too high for a Cruiserweight Championship. The Japanese buzzsaw. Gets away with the Cruiserweight Tower. That's awesome. Of course, we still have Tajiri and William Regal as a team. It's just that Tajiri has been... He's been busy, of course, with the Cruiserweight Tower. So, you know, perhaps double champion Tajiri. Maybe. If he could win it with Regal. The Tag Towers with Regal in the near future. That could actually happen. And Ray and RVD versus Masters and Carlito. And so, Chris Masters and Carlito, they get the victory. Retaining the Tag Team titles. Alright, I actually wasn't expecting that one. That's pretty cool. You know what cool is? Anyway, Angle, Sean. Let's see how this goes. Please tell me. Yeah, ah, damn it. Alright. Whatever. Sean with the victory. And here comes your main event Y2J. The Booker T. I forgot how I usually did this. There we go. Alright, fine. Um, if we get Benoit, I'm not sure. I don't really want to get Benoit. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. We got Booker T. Alright, we're rocking with the Bookman. And, um, may I exchange an attribute? Oh, never mind. That's your situation. Why is I making such a loud noise? Whatever, here we go. So, the special guest referee match. Let's see how this one goes. Um, doesn't really matter. Triple Threat Judgment Day will happen either way. Uh, you know what? We can really skip the entrances. It don't even matter by this point. To be completely honest. Alright. Let's get this part started. Last one stayed in as well. First last one stayed in match I've played ever in SVR 06, to be fair. Uh, so, yeah. I actually did not know. It's probably just gonna be bun mashing. Alright, Jericho, come over here. Come on, Chris. Okay. Oh, well, is the right now to a good start. Also, I have some hard difficulty. So, that's also why we got our ass kicked by Benoit last week. Alright. Nope, okay. 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 Jericho, calm down. Benoit, just watching. He's just chilling, enjoying life. At this time. I know for a fact I reversed that. Booker T. Looking to win the World Championship, looking to become a six-time World Heavyweight Champion here. Even though this is before he wins the... This is definitely before he wins the World title. Obviously, this is like a year before it. But, uh, I don't think it matters. I think he was still, yeah, still five-time Dice Champion, so... Trying to freaking work on Jericho here. There we go, get the kick. Eat the kick. Uh, you want just... Chris? Christopher? Where? Yeah, you know what? Time to, time to get some weapons. Here we go. This matchup, I feel like it's going to take forever. We're going to have to trim out a lot of this. And yeah, that didn't work. Uh, you know what? That's just being this never-ending 
It's like we're actually getting some shots in here, I think. That one worked. Okay, uh, you know what, Chris, give me, uh, give me the thing, give me, give me, give me. Ah, Tell him, Benwell. Yeah, give him the business. Haha, <laughs> you fool. And... Sleeper. Away. Kick. You can't even fully connect with this kick. Why? Okay, I pressed Y to reverse, thinking it's 2K20 for some reason. Alright, that's gonna cost me. And I keep occasionally pressing A to grapple. Even though I haven't mapped out as X here, but... If he's the 2K20 controls with this. And he stopped doing that. Alright, this is not going to work out well. German suplex! <laughs> Left, right, and neck. Now, wait a minute. Alright, here's the not War Tower Tower. Here's the Unspeed Tower instead for some reason. Alright, get back inside the ring. This is going to be awesome! Okay, that didn't work. Oh, yeah. Wrong freaking button. No! Alright, well, this is not good. It's Ben Wall. Alright, you know what? You need to get over here. Alright, yeah, never mind. I lied. Get back in here. Alright. Harlem hangover? Never mind. Wrong direction. Whatever. It worked. We got a little tiny whisper in the wind. Go. Here. Eat this undisputed towel. That's not where it's out. How do we miss that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run away, run away, run away. Get the kick. Get the top back, get the top. Never mind. Give me that. Alright. Bop. There we go. Okay, that one wasn't as good. There we go. Good connection. Count it, Benoit. Count it. <sighs> this is gonna be very annoying. Miss the kick. Miss the kick. Give me that, give me that, give me that. There we go. I feel like we need to bust him open or something like that. Benoit, count. Not even staying down long enough. Alright. Time to play the game. I said, just kill the game by Drown and Pull. I like the Drown and Pull version more than I do the Motorhead one. I know that's a very unpopular opinion. But I like the Drown and Pull version of the game more than Motorhead. It sounds better. I don't care. It's way better. Kick! Uh, you want just just give me this just 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 give me this just give me this all right here we go damn it you know we've both had our asses beat by Triple H before in the past so why don't you get a little taste of the sledgehammer courtesy of the bookman come on that sucked did it to the campsite you know this is just going nowhere you know it's fine Chris just we're just gonna what the what that never mind what's the turnbuckle exposed here we go Harlem hangover. Well, it's the Houston hangover here this time. But whatever. Here we go. I'm pretending to steal. Chair shot. Never mind. Headshot. Never mind. Right to the gut. That also works out better. Damn it. Uh, you know, Jericho just doesn't want to sell shit for us. And I don't prove it. Come on. Be a, be a good worker. Be a good worker. Be selfless. What? Ding dang on the chip. Oh, God. Oh, that was awesome. Alright. Enough of that. You know what? I think I've had enough of you. We're going down to the canvas. Oh my god, they reverse everything. You know, at least we're doing better than what we did uh, last episode against Bethlock. We got our ass kicked in the steel cage match. I know for a fact I reversed that. And we need more stamina as well. Let me reverse. Let me, I'm trapped in this corner. Spam it. The left trigger. One. Alright, it's not going to work two, out. It's not going to work out. Get up. Three, get up. Get up. Four. Get up. Yeah, it's just fun mashing. It's not a mini game like the current day ones. Damn it, Booker. And again. Right to Booker's tease. That was a horrible joke. Whatever. Yeah, you know what? Let me. Let me get a breather. Haha, you fool. Friend, right into the trap. Come on. Here we go. Finally get a damn grapple move. There we go. Sidewalk slam. That sucked. Whatever. Fuck. Oh, we are red abdomen damage. And that kick. Aw, oh, come on. The walls. Never mind, it's a lion tamer. No, it is the walls. Okay. It is the walls. It don't even matter. No option to tap out. 
just a matter of button matching now and putting the controller Two. on purpose very close to the microphone so you Three. can hear what I am going through four. right now. All the face Five. buttons, all four of them. It's just being spared right. here. I think we actually might be done for now. Fucker T is still alive and kicking. The reversal. The reversal. Again, but not on our part. And we reverse the grapple when we should have been reversing a strike. Alright, you know what, Jericho? Look at you. Looking so damn stupid. Freaking little tiny head tilt. Whatever. Here we go. Eat this. There we go. Red head damage. One. On the skull Y2J. Two. You know what? Shoot. I was thinking of doing Three. a Harlem hangover. We're not doing it. Four. This actually could be a, you know what? what we should be doing, if anything. Six. Actually, no. I was about to say we should be taunting. But there we go. Now let's taunt. We connected pretty damn well with that one. Hurry up with the taunt, fucker. Hurry up. Alright. To the eye. Nope. We're gonna now him spin and heel kick. We cannot reverse the spin and heel kick at all. Alright. Bam. Okay, that one worked out pretty well. Need more stamina. Need more stamina. Booker T looks to become world champion here tonight to go on the Judgment Day as the world heavyweight champion. It don't matter because both these men will get their rematches at Judgment Day. And it'll be Chris Benoit who will also be in the Triple Threat. Here we go, Whisper in the wind. Booker, look now at this one here. Look now at this one. The bookend. We come down the axe kick. We're doing the bookend. And take it down, Chris Jericho. Booker T. Slamming down, Y to J on the canvas, Two. the rabbit Wolverine, with Three. the count, there's an ice cream Four. truck in the background, and I'm gonna have to use Five. a freaking noise canceler, to freaking Seven. take it out, but Booker Eight. T here, Nine. victorious, Booker T, Ten. the new World Heavy Champion, you know, it was on hard difficulty, so, you know, we got our ass kicked by Benoit last episode, but JL goes a little more easier, that worked out pretty well. What do you know? Here's your winner and the new World Heavyweight Champion, Booker T. Thank you, Tony Chimmel. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank my friends. I would like to thank my family. I'm trying to act like Booker T here. Pretend like this is Victory Road 2008 and we are in Texas, but instead of Booker getting his ass kicked by Joe, so much so that where Sting has to make the save and it leads to a main event mafia down the line. Uh, think of it like, oh yeah, Booker actually beat Joe that night instead of getting his ass completely fucking whooped by the small submission machine. All right, whatever. Um, after this, you know, there's the last image for this episode of SmackDown. We ran out of time. We're going off the air. What happens off the air after this episode, and it's it's shown on WWE.com, is that uh, Benoit grabs the arm, brings us down, crippler crossface while we're still hunting. While we're still holding on to the World Heavyweight title. And then the picture, the thumbnail on WWE.com will be Benoit holding up the World Heavyweight title over a fallen Booker T and Jericho. There you go. Yeah, just imagine that. That's what happens. But not here. It happens on WWE.com because, like, what? UPN ran out of time. Yeah, SmackDown was still on UPN at this time, right? Whatever. UPN ran out of time. They exceeded the, 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 the little time limit they had. Whatever. This is the results of Super Smackdown. That matchup wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I still have to think our best match in GM of history. Angle and Christian. That was like what, episode two? Yeah, best matchup so far in GM. Oh, that one was a, uh, that one was uh, relatively. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, the most annoying matchup definitely was last episode against Benoit. Eddie just got squashed in that steel cage match. We couldn't do nothing with Eddie at all that episode. But yeah, so here's the results for Super Smackdown. Of course, look at it one last final time. I'm proud of it. I feel like we're not going to do all that good, though. But uh, let's see. Exit GM of that way. like, no. Yeah, I saved it just in case. There you go. And Booker's injured. You're kidding me. We took, we barely took any damage. Whatever. Let's see. Fan change goes to us, obviously. The SmackDown to try and take more fans back from Backlash, and it only does 40,000. Uh, we signed Regal to a new deal at the end of the last episode, forgot about that one. Let's see the Raw ratings, two stars. SmackDown got, uh, let's see, also two stars. That's a lie. Four title matches, 
all of them being stipulations, that right there is a complete lie. Uh, Raw will 5.6 mil. SmackDown, let's see, 5, 4.3. This episode, this Super Smackdown did nothing for us. Damn. Still champions, the Undertaker. Yeah, this was the raw results, was it? Or was it Backlash? I think it was raw. And then, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, we should have read that Booker one, actually. How, how, how long is Booker gonna be out? Uh, where are you? Yes, three and two. Three and two weren't our champion. Not that good. How long is he hurt for? How else can you see it? I actually forget how else can you see it. Uh, oh, sprained knee. Uh, how bad is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. Minor injury, four weeks. And Jericho's also out for three weeks. I think they actually might miss Judgment Day. We actually might have to give Benoit the damn title. Let's see, four weeks for Booker. One, two, three, four. Uh, Booker, you're working Judgment Day. I'm sorry. Uh, Jericho will be back in time for Judgment Day, but I want to use them in the Go Home show. However, it is a minor injury. So that's not too bad. They're both minor injuries for both Jericho and Booker. Um, so that's not really too bad. But yeah, and I think that's... Yeah, all the injuries. That's good. Uh, here's the contracts. Five weeks a lot. I said Carlito and Chris Masters. We signed them. Tag team champions. You have to. Um, Scotty too high. He lost the Cruiserweight title, but we'll still resign him later on. Let's just resign Booker a little bit longer, and we don't really need to. I just want to. Gets a little extra bonus. Charlie Haas. Yeah. Dream Mill and, um,. Javito, Scotty, and Spike, uh, yeah, you guys will stay there. So, there you go. I don't know why I said Javito. Oh, there. Yeah, we're acting like Eddie. <laughs> Alright, and, well, Christian's unsatisfied. Oh, God, he's gonna jump to TNA. He's gonna jump to TNA and team up with Tomko and AJ Styles, and they're gonna do the damn Christian co- Christian? I said Christian. They're gonna do the freaking Christian Coalition. Uh, Ben Wall, Jericho, and Eddie are both all contempt, which is weird, because this is our main event scene. Our main event scene is Ben Wall, Jericho, Eddie, and, uh, Booker. That's really it. So, yeah, Christian's unsatisfied. What do you actually need? Oh, and five. Oh. Alright, Christian, you know what? We, we might, I actually really want to keep Christian. I don't want to make him go to Raw. So, you know, we have nothing really for him, to be fair. So that's the that's the weird part. I want to keep him, but I have nothing for him. Spike's popularity is going down to 12. He's gonna go to TNA and become Brother Runt if he is if his popularity goes any more lower. Freaking Brother Runt. He hated that gimmick apparently. Gimmick it was. Oh, he was the same as the regular Spike Dudley, but he just hated Flair. Uh, Charlie Haas is 22. I I think I'm pretty sure Charlie Haas has always been 22. Or maybe he was 23. Whatever. Um. Christian is 49, yeah, uh, let's just... HBK and Kurt are at the... They're the top. And of course, they're Spike and Charlie Haas. Big shame. Fatigue here, uh... Booker, Jericho, that's about that. Sky Tights, Jerry, Angle, Sean, and Benoit. Yeah, I could've sworn, like, there was other people besides, you know, the whole main event scene that you saw right there. And of course, Travel and, and uh... Not Travel, uh, Scott. Scotty and Jerry. But, uh... Um, Alright. Because one of those are people fatigue, but uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, let's see how. Yeah, none of these rivalries are actually going. I hate this rivalry system. 07 and 08 is actually good. The 06 one is like, oh yeah, as long as you do a singles matchup, we'll do a rivalry. Like, no, that's stupid. Here's your champions. Uh, you think it'll be switched? You think Sean and Booker will switch spots? But nope. The book man on the top of SmackDown. Too bad he's injured. We'll still use him. We'll still use him, just not in any big stipulations. Uh, but yeah. Alright, to end off this episode, uh, I'm disappointed, really. But, actually, if anything, let's see this. Yeah, look at that, look at that little line. It just get, it gets wider and wider now, look at that. I think, this Super Smackdown actually did worse than previous episodes, I'm pretty sure. It should have been, like, a bigger increase, and it really, it really wasn't. Um, SummerSlam, legit, I'm 
SummerSlam really needs to help us. Actually, no. Judgment Day in general. Just Judgment Day. Our pay reviews is going to be what saves us by this point. Because no matter how much... You know, we're actually doing some pretty good stuff here. It's just that... I don't know. I just don't know. Well, right, latest Raw results here. Davari defeats Rene Dupree. Tori Wilson beats Michelle McCool. Trish beats Stacy. Mahal Hassan and Rick Flair defeat Eugene and Orlando Jordan. Batista, Kane, and Edge over JBL, Randy Orton, and John Cena in a... Captain Fall? Tornado? What? Captain Fall? What the fuck? What's a Captain Fall Tornado 6 man tag matchup? Yeah, uh, that's a... Uh... Huh. Well, that's interesting. And the four-star matchup, Taker retains against Triple H. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. That's about accurate. Uh, that was four stars. Wait. So, two-star show. But we're focusing on these last two matches here. I want to focus on those two. Three stars, four stars, respectively. There's fireworks playing outside, and it is July 7th. Why? Well, uh, look at this. Three and a half and three. Ah. Uh, we had a better... We had a better... Fifth matchup. We did not have a better main event. We should have had a better main event. Did Taker and Triple H even have a stipulation? No, I didn't. A singles matchup. Damn. We're busy pushing WCW stars. And, well, technically, Trip Taker and Triple H were also in WCW, but they weren't stars there, obviously. Freaking Triple H was, like, what? What was his name? Terrorizer, right? Whatever. Here's the picture. What a guy. Um, anyway. <sighs> one half, one half, one half. I tried for Tajiri and Scotty with a TLC matchup, and it just didn't work out. And, uh, Masters Galito were 10, 2 stars, 3.5 stars. Sean and Kurt, I actually thought it was going to be 4, but whatever. A 3 star main event, Booker wins the world title from Y2J. Damn. Alright, so Judgment Day here is looking like this. The main event is uh, Jericho, Booker, Benoit, Triple Death. For the word at the top, and uh, everything else is pretty much on the side. To be fair, this was Krangle. Wait, um, no, oh no, ho, ho, I just realized this was Krangle. Let me try and speak correctly without trying to speak way too fast. This was Krangle's rematch clause for the United States Championship, and now he doesn't have the. Well, we can still give him another shot, but we're running. I'm doing it based on my humorous mode rules, which is the rematch clause stuff. So, Angle, uh, no longer in the title picture. We're going to give Angle something else to do, and then we'll figure out a contender for Sean's U.S. title. How about that? Uh, Sky Toddy still needs a shot at the world title. And now with Booker injured, I'm scared that he had, that Scotty might actually win. We don't even need to give Sky the shot, but he beat uh, Jericho when he was champion back in like week two. So, you know, I want to be fair and once again go off based on how I book things for universe mode over in 2K20. Speaking of which, uh, Liz Evzo Raw, watch that. Or not, I don't know. Whatever. You do you. Uh, but whatever. Disappointed. Disappointed to say at least. Next episode would be week, uh, 6. Yeah, next episode week 6. Let's see how that works out. Or hopefully, SmackDown could get some more fans in Raw. We are in the dumps. Let's see how next episode goes.